Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be reviewing, it's the brand new Charlotte Tilbury, it's the foundation stick and she calls it the Unreal Skin Sheer Glow Tint. Now this arrived yesterday, this is the outside packaging of it and I did try it out and I don't like it. Now I was trying to think whether I've actually ever used a foundation stick before and I don't think that I have. I have a couple of concealers that are in a, a stick form and I find them really good. I was a bit wary about this product since it did say glow tint and with the word glow in it but there are some products that say that they are glowy and I do wear foundations, the liquid ones that do have that glow in them. Just off the top of my head I do have the Dior one and that is really beautiful. So before I start this review, those of you that are new to my channel, I'm just going to go through my skin type and my age and the season that it is here now in New Zealand because those things are really important when trying out a new foundation and also for those of you watching whether you think this would suit you or not. So I am 54 years old so I I have mature skin. I do have a really good skincare routine both morning and night. Now this time of the year in New Zealand it is winter and in my house I have a large wood burner so that makes the air quite dry. Now I have oily skin but in the winter time it's not quite as oily as it is in those summer months and especially with a wood burner going it really reduces any humidity in the house and it is quite dry although my skin is still on the oily side it's not as oily as it would be in the summer months. The other really important thing to note is after my skincare my final step is sunscreen and I use a Japanese one and it is a beautiful moisturizing sunscreen. I've been using it for a few years now and about a quarter of an hour before I started this video I did put another layer on. Now I do test foundations with sunscreen on because that's what I wear every day and you should wear a sunscreen all day every day of the year. It is a really important final step in your skincare. So I just want you to know those things before I give this review on this foundation stick. So this product is made in Italy. It has a shelf life of 12 months from date of opening and it has nine grams of product. So this is the packaging that it comes in. The typical Charlotte Tilbury packaging, it's like a Art Deco type. Now with Charlotte Tilbury products, they are a little bit hit and miss for me. This one is definitely a miss for my oily skin, though I do think it could be more suited for those with normal to dry skin, but I'll get into that a little bit later. So it just has a pull-off cap and the foundation stick inside, you can twist it up and also twist it down as well. Now the shade that I picked up, and as I was saying, I did use this yesterday, and it is a good shade for me. It is number five medium, and she describes that as a neutral. So I will swatch this on the back of my hand so you can take a look. I'll just do it a few times because this is a really sheer type of skin tint. When she says sheer, it's exactly what it is. So I'm just going to turn down the light in front of me and show you the swatch. So this is number five medium and you can see, I can see it and hopefully you can too. The camera's picking it up. It definitely has a shininess to it. So what are the claims for this Unreal, what's it called? It's a long name, Unreal Skin Sheer Glow Tint. So I'm just having a look at the Charlotte Tilbury website. It says the magic and the science. They say it is buildable, sheer to light coverage, and it definitely is. Gives a super natural, soft glow, no foundation finish. So really what she's trying to say is it is a tint and it is sheer. So I would say from that it's supposed to sort of make your skin your skin but better. They say it's easy, speedy, 15 second application. It takes longer than 15 seconds. Just swipe, blend and glow. And she says you can put this on using your fingers for a very sheer glow and slightly buildable using a foundation brush. They say that skin immediately looks 32 times smoother and 99% agree it has weightless all day wear. 
It is formulated with collagen ear, which is a term that she has trademarked. I don't even know what that is. I'm not even going to begin to try to <laughs> think what that could be. It also has hyaluronic acid, which a lot of foundations do now. And this also has vitamin E in it as well. Now I will pop up the ingredient list so you can pause it here and take a good look at it. Now this does come in 20 shades, she usually has more shades with that with her foundation but with a sheer type of coverage you do get a bit of more stretch out of each foundation shade. She says that this blurs and smooths for a ring light effect, it's the ultimate no foundation foundation. She says that the application of this is so easy, the 15 second application that you can do it in the dark. Now on the website is a video of the model putting on the foundation. She swipes it on her face and then blends it with her fingers. And I don't even think it looks very good on the model. The problem is it's not just a glow. It is a real glow. It's not a metallic finish, which I thought that it may look. So it doesn't look metallic-y in any way. But for me, it does look really greasy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe this on my face as well. I'm just twisting it up a little bit. And we'll put a couple of swipes in each area, forehead, I'm going to put some down the nose, around my chin, and also through here as well. So already you can see, and I hope you can see, just how shiny this is. Now once this is all applied, I will show you what this looks like in natural light. And I'll also do a couple of check-ins throughout the day as well. It is early morning here at the moment, so I should be at least be able to get in a couple of check-ins before I finally edit this video and pop it up for you to see. Now the foundation brush, I'm going to use the one that I used yesterday, and I'm going to use the wrapper. This is the B02, and this one was gifted to me a little while ago, and it is a really good foundation brush. So it does blend in, quite well but the problem is it definitely like I said it has a glow it goes to really a greasy look and it never really dries down and I think that's the problem and what I ended up doing yesterday and I might just do it on one side of my face so I'm going to have to put up with the other side not being powdered so I'm going to powder one side of my face but then I'm not going to powder the other side and just show you how greasy this is. Now yesterday I used this also with the Chanel, it was this primer here, this is the Mattifying Perfect Makeup Primer, this one, so this does mattify a little bit and I haven't put that on today, all I've got underneath was my final step and that I put on just a few well about 10 or 15 minutes ago now and that is my sunscreen so that's all that I've got underneath so I don't really think that this blurs either I think it evens out the complexion but I don't really see any blurring effect with this and I have a sunspot here and a couple up here. I have a little bit of redness there, not much. So you can definitely still see the sunspot, not quite as prominent before I popped it on, but you can still see that through. And that's okay. So I don't mind a sheer foundation. It's really just the finish that it gives and how it's going to wear with my oily skin. So I'll just blend out the other side. And it'll be interesting to see what I think of it this morning because yesterday when I put it on and I gave it a good five or ten minutes and it still didn't really dry down, all I wanted to do, I wore it for the rest of the day, but really what I wanted to do was just wipe it off. That's really what I wanted to do. And I did end up, I think it was after about a quarter of an hour, I was like, I can't wear this like it looked. So that's why I powdered it. And I powdered it using the Chanel, the Natural Finish Loose Powder, because that's the most mattifying powder that I have in my collection. It doesn't dry things down completely, so you look all dry and withered, 
but it does work really well with my oily skin. And then I thought that it did look better, but I did have to use quite a bit of powder. So that is just with the first layer on. I will put a little bit more through here and just show you that it builds up, but it's just a very, very slight amount. So with it all on, I do look I do look very shiny and as I was saying I don't mind a glow but I don't like it when things look so shiny that it really starts to look greasy and when I feel it it feels like I've put on a heavy type of moisturizer that I would wear as my last step in my skincare routine at night and I was going to sleep throughout the night but definitely not something that with my oily skin I would use in my skincare routine in the morning and that's what it feels like and as I was saying I powdered it yesterday and it definitely does need powdering so after I've done the second application I will powder on one side of my face just to show you so a closer look as I was saying I don't think it gives a blurring effect at all. I do think that it evens out the complexion. I think that this shade number five medium is a really good match for me and I'm pleased that I picked that shade. It's just the finish of it. It just, to me, it just looks too glowy. So now I'm gonna put on a little bit more and instead of swiping over the top because it'll probably move the product because as I was saying, it doesn't really set down. I'm gonna take my foundation brush and just swipe just over the end of the foundation stick and just pop a little bit more through here. And the problem with it, especially when you're trying to build it up, is it doesn't really seem to give much more coverage at all. But what it does do is just make your skin look, for me, it just makes it look even more greasy. And I also just wipe some of the foundation and I don't often do that, but I've wiped some over my lips because I did that yesterday and when I rub them together, it feels like I've put a lip balm on. So probably that's the best way I can describe how this foundation feels. It feels like I've put a tinted lip balm all over my face. And even though it doesn't feel heavy, it sort of feels thick, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But you can see how glowy it is. To me, that's beyond, well, it's beyond glowy. It really just looks, it looks quite greasy. And when I put it on yesterday, I was really disappointed since it's my first foundation stick. I was hoping that it would be really good, but for me, it's definitely not suited to my oily skin. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use my other camera and go out into the lounge where there's some natural light and I'll show you what it looks like there. So I still haven't powdered on one side of my face. I will do that when I go back into the room just to show you the difference. So this is what it look, looks like. And for me, it just, it just looks too greasy. And when I go to feel it now, it feels just the same as when I first put it on. So it's not setting down in any way. And the other way to describe it is that it feels like it's just sitting on my skin and it's not sinking in and it's not really melding with it properly and that's why I feel like I really just feel like washing it off because to me it just looks it just has that greasy look it doesn't emphasize my pores or anything like that and I don't think it's really settling into any lines and I wouldn't really expect it to given that it is a sheer tint but and I look at it now in the monitor and you can just see <laughs> you can just see how shiny it is so really not suited for my oily skin so what I'm going to do now is just pop on a Charlotte Tilbury concealer. This is the Beautiful Skin Radiant one. 
this shade, and I'm not quite sure which shade it is, it's number six medium, but this is maybe just a tad light. When it comes to concealers, I really do prefer one that just matches my foundation, but I'll still use this one. Now, even though this says radiant, it really just gives a beautiful radiance. It's not too much. This is actually a really nice concealer and wears really well. So I've just done my eyebrows. I have powdered under my eyes because I use the Westman Atelier, the Vital Press Skincare Powder for under my eyes. And I've also put some eyeshadow primer on as well. And now I'm gonna powder my face. And if it was even possible, <laughs> I think that I even look shinier now than I did five or 10 minutes ago. And when I go to touch it again, it just does not set down. So if I wasn't doing this video, I would be putting the powder all over my face. And as I mentioned, I am going to use the Chanel, the Natural Finish Loose Powder. This is in the shade 30. I'm only going to put it on one side of my face. So I think I'll powder on the left side of my face and I'll leave this side. The only problem that I've got leaving it without powder is that once I put on bronzer, I don't really know how that will go over the side with it just feeling and looking quite greasy, but I guess we'll see how that goes. So I've just given this, actually I need to do it again, just gonna give this a little shake because I will need quite a bit of powder. I just gotta remember not to do the right side. I'm only gonna do the left side. And with a powder brush, I'm gonna use quite a dense one. It's the BK Beauty and this is the 105 and it's quite dense. It's still really soft, but it's quite dense. So it will pick up quite a lot of powder. So just the left side of my face. And straight away that just looks, looks a hundred times better than it does on that side. Now with my oily skin, when I powder down, when I wear a foundation that isn't a matte one, that little bit of a glow still comes through and it definitely does with this one as well. I'm not sure, I can't quite remember you say whether it came back to looking like this, but you definitely get that glow back. But I'm going to be doing, as I said, at least a couple of check-ins throughout the day. So you'll see whether whether it comes back to looking like this, because I'm just gonna powder this the once, I'm not gonna powder it again throughout the day. Now yesterday when I wore this, I think after about three or four hours, I did give another powder over my face, and again, it looked like that, but definitely a product that you have to use quite a bit of powder if you are going to wear it and you have oily skin. So this side powdered, the side knot <laughs> and I know which I prefer. Now once I have got it powdered I do think that it looks really nice. I really do. Like I said it doesn't settle into my lines, doesn't settle into my pores, doesn't emphasize texture whereas on the shiny side because you're bringing light that's where you can emphasize texture but on the side where it's powdered, it actually does look really pretty. So I will give it that. It does look nice once it's powdered, but I do have to use quite a lot of powder. And by using that dense brush, you definitely can pick up more powder to lay it down. But I definitely prefer this side with the powder compared to that side with no powder. Now, now I'm gonna put on some bronzer and I don't know how this is gonna go because this is a new to me bronzer. I've used it about three or four times and I really, really like it. And it always goes on really beautifully. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like on the side that's not powdered. And it's the RMS Beauty Bronzer. And I picked up the shade in Beach Walk Betty. And this has got a slight bit of redness in it. And this is a really, really beautiful bronzer. I really like it. So I'm just gonna grab, I think I will use the Sonia G, the Niji Pro brush to pop this bronzer on. I'm gonna go on the powdered side first because I know it'll work really nice on that side. I really love this shade, this bronzer. I think it is beautiful. It really gives, because it's got that slight bit of red in there, it really gives that sun-kissed look. Okay, now I'm gonna go on this side and we'll just see what happens. 
it's not blending out as easily it's not too bad but it's not blending out as easily as it did on the side that is powdered but it's going on better than I thought it would not so much up here though it looks like it's trying to be a little bit patchy but because I've got a really good brush you can go over and just buff it out it sort of hasn't the bronzer hasn't sort of gone on as evenly as it has on the side but I'll just carry it down through here right so that's with all my bronzer on powdered side non powdered side and when I look at the right side of my face I really just want to wash it off or at the very least I want to powder it with that Chanel powder because as I was saying the side that has been powdered I think does look really really pretty so what I'm going to do now is a bit later on I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup because I think in the mail today I'm going to be getting that new Natasha Denona palette and I'm dying to <laughs> try that on so when you see me back I will have that on my eyes and hopefully that's going to be really gorgeous I think that it will be so once I have put on the rest of my makeup and I've got a complete face of makeup I will be back and do a check-in so makeup is now done and just after I was last with you the mail was delivered so on my eyes is the new Natasha Denona this is the golden eyeshadow palette and it is gorgeous I think it is beautiful I've got on for blush it's a Charlotte Tilbury one and for the lipstick it's from the new Natasha Denona range it's the golden glimmer gloss I think it is really gorgeous it does have lip plumper in it and it's not a cool minty it's a little bit spicy it lasted on me that's that sort of tingle spiciness for about two or three minutes and now it's starting to fade and it didn't bother me at all and I haven't got any lipstick on underneath this gloss I think it is really beautiful right let's get back to this Charlotte Tilbury the foundation stick right so this is the side that was powdered I didn't powder the side I haven't repowdered and I'm not going to throughout the whole day the side that I've powdered it still feels fairly matte although I can start to see that glow come through since I was last talking with you it's been about 45 minutes getting towards an hour this side hasn't got any more glowier or greasier than it was and where I had popped the bronzer on it did help mattify it a little bit but through here and up through around here to me it's still it just gives just that more of a glow and just borders on that greasiness I know that I would not be able to wear this in summer I think it would just slide right off my face and for the winter time it's one that I will keep but knowing that I will have to powder it quite heavily and probably about two or three times throughout the day so it's not a complete fail it's just one that I know would not work for me in those summer months but I still have at least a couple of check-ins to do with you throughout the day I might do them in the room here or maybe out in the lounge again and show you what it looks like there but at this stage it's still okay I haven't done anything strenuous so <laughs> and as I said it's we've got the wood burner going inside so the air is quite dry and it looks okay at this stage and we'll see what it looks like later on this afternoon so I'll be back with a check-in and see you later on so it's now been about three hours and I just want to pop a little bit more lip gloss on I had a look at myself in the mirror and I'm starting to look pretty shiny this is the side that I powdered and this hasn't been powdered and when I feel it this side here that isn't powdered <laughs> feels like it desperately needs powdering and this side here it doesn't look it and it's not as matte as when I first powdered it so you can see that just tends to get a, 
oilier and oilier looking so even if I had powdered both sides by now I'd be powdering my face again and then I'd probably have to in another couple of hours as well so that's why I was saying earlier that this foundation stick just really wouldn't work in summer I could wear it in summer I'd have to heavily powder and keep repowdering throughout the day but it would just have to do it it would just be too often and it's not really a user friendly type of foundation when you have to do that but this side still looks better the side that I powdered still looks better than the side that I didn't powder although I do feel that this does need repowdering so I'll do a final check-in in a couple of hours it'll be late afternoon so it's now just before six in the evening and I've been wearing this for about 10 hours I haven't repowdered the left side of my face and this is what it is looking like I've had the fire going all day today so it stayed quite dry inside so it hasn't got any more greasier looking than it was really from the time that I just did that check-in in the lounge it's around about the same but the side that I have powdered it's pretty much equal to the side that I haven't powdered just maybe a little bit around the nose area it's a bit shiny around here it hasn't settled into any lines there's a little bit right around the edge of my nose in here but that always happens with me with foundations it's because I do even though I have oily skin sometimes it is a little bit dry through there and that's because I use retinol nearly every night and that's just why it's just a little bit dry in there and sometimes foundation can settle in there a little bit but over the other lines on my face it's not settling at all but I do feel like I really <laughs> need to grab my powder and powder it down to me it looks like I'm just starting to sweat a little bit more than just like a healthy glow and that's what I mean when I say that it's starting to look greasy so overall with this foundation stick would I buy it again no I wouldn't buy it again and although it's not a complete fail I can wear it with my oily skin this time of the year in the winter as I was saying earlier I know that this just would not wear well on my skin in summer and probably even in later spring and early autumn as well it would really just be for these months when the weather is cooler and my skin isn't producing as much oil now in saying all that I do think it gives a lovely finish I don't think it blurs pores but I do think that it gives a beautiful evening out of the skin so if you have normal skin to dry skin then I think that you would really like this product especially if you want a sheer type of coverage and I really like the sheer type of coverage one of my favorite uh, Chanel foundations is the water fresh tint and that is a very sheer coverage and I think that is absolutely beautiful and unlike this one that is one that I can wear with my oily skin not only in the winter but also in the summer months as well so this doesn't settle into lines I think it gives a really lovely finish to your skin the only thing is if you've got oily skin it's quite high maintenance I don't think it'll last in summer and even in winter I really could have powdered this probably from the first time that I applied it I could have powdered it at least twice since and for me that's getting to be a fairly high maintenance foundation but even though this wasn't necessarily a great foundation for me I was pleased that I picked it up and I was able to review it for you so that's it for today's video I would love it if you gave it a like and subscribed and I will see you next time bye